Hi everyone, my name is Courtney. This is my first video ever. It's a makeup tutorial in response to Bubblegum Princess's spring flower inspired contest look. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching. My flower inspiration for this look was purple tulips. I got some last year as a gift from my husband right around Easter time. Um, tulips have always been my favorite flower and the more I look at pictures of them on the internet, the ones that I'll include in this video of course, the more I fell in love with them. Okay, so I'm priming my eyes with this cream color here from a Wet n Wild palette. Um, I don't have any MAC paint pots. Uh, I'm too buff for MAC. It's just a special indulgence. This gives me a nice nude cream base to work with. Uh, it helps me hold on to my shadows. I'm going to go with this gold powder here for a base color all over my lid. And I'll apply it wet so I get a nice strong shimmer from that. I'm apply a little bit more dry so I can pull up all that wetness. Sorry, the lighting's a little bit weird. Uh, I tried to use the light from a big window I have right next to me, and it's an overcast day today, of course. Alrighty, then I'm gonna use this really light color here as a blend on like the outer half of my eyelid. Get a nice strong pop of that color on the lid. Um, brush, you can't even see that, wonderful. Anyway. That going in right about there. I'm gonna add a little bit more. A nice strong color. I'm gonna switch it up here and double the color on my crease. I'm gonna go with this color right here for most of my crease, especially on my upper lid. I'm gonna switch to the darkest color on my palette here for under the lower lash line and a little bit on the top crease. I want to get a nice pop of this dark purple color here. And then I'm going to switch it up here and go with a light green for the other half of my lower lash. That way I almost get the effects of a uh, tulip stem. I'm going to blend that nice and well with that purple, make the transition pretty fuzzy. And now I'm going to go with my favorite MAC product ever, their fluid line in this color wave line, which you can't even see. It's a dark purple, so I'm going to load up this little brush here. I love the tiny point on it because it means I can make a really small um, line. I like to get up and close to my mirror for this. Excuse me. All right, I thicken that up towards the outer half of my lashes. Do a little bit of drama to this. For my waterline, I'm going to go with this dark green right here. It's from Rimmel in the color Pine. 
I love using the Rimmel because they're actually very gentle on my eyes and I can line my water line without having any problems. Um, and they're nice and soft so they go on pretty well. Alrighty, add a little bit of highlight with this uh, Clear Radiance from Bare Minerals. It's supposed to be for all over your face, but it's too shimmery um, to really pull off unless you're going for a night out look. It makes a great highlighter for super pale people like me. So just pop that under my brow. Give a little bit of lightness to the look. And put a tiny bit. on my inner tear duct. For mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Bare Natural Mascara in color Blackest Black. Um, I love to have dramatic lashes, but mine are already nice and long, and I have super sensitive eyes, so I have to use natural stuff. Um, this one works great just to give me as much volume as I ever want. I will never put on mascara without curling my eyes, even if it's one of those curling formulas. Curling my lashes, sorry, I can't curl my eyes, that would probably hurt. Just put in a nice coat of this. I'm probably gonna cut this down because I spent forever on my mascara. Alright, for my finishing touches, I've got lip balm, lip gloss, and a little bit of perfume just to throw it in as a treat. Uh, I have a Lip Smackers Fanta Grape Lip Balm, which actually gives a slight purpley pink tint to the lips. And I'm addicted to lip balm of all types. This has to be super moisturizing for my for me. Uh, and then I've got this Wild Pink Glow After Dark Lip Gloss from JLo. It was a Christmas gift. Uh, I have no idea where you can even buy it. But I like it because it's not sticky. It's a soft pink color. And then my perfume for the summer, or for the spring, is this Stella by Stella McCartney perfume. Uh, it comes in a purple bottle, I didn't use it for this. But it's a rosy, seductive perfume. Um, it just smells wonderful. It, it's, it's got rose essence, mandarin, peony flower, um, and amber in it, which is just mm, wonderful. Highly recommended if you can find it anywhere.